Welcome everyone. This is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminine's Mars and the Masculine's Venus. I've already pre-shuffled. This is the Gilded Tarot. We're going to clarify with the Rider Waite Mini here, and I'm going to do oracles at the end. Today is May 10th, 2021. The energy that we're picking up on today is for um, now going forward to the end of May. Okay, it is a general reading. If you want something more specific, you can check out my information below as well as my website, twinflames3344.com. I also have a CD out there called Ashes, Twin Towers to Twin Flames, if you'd like to check it out by Evelyn Stainthorpe. And if you'd like, if you like the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for spending your time with me. I so appreciate you. For any of those of you who may be interested, my rising sign is Cancer. And let's get going here. So for the sign of Cancer, sign of Cancer. Going into the end of May here, sign of Cancer. All right, what do we have for Cancer now? <sighs> cancer, 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 Cancer. Okay. Oh. All right, for Cancer, first card out is the Knight of Wands reversed. So something might be stalled. Literally, this could be um, falling short of expectations. Um, somebody could fall off the wagon. This can be the player kind of energy too, who rushes in for a one night stand, but it also can just be holding back their true desires, which then drains them. And maybe they had good intentions to go forward, with it, but then they fall short on energy. All those kind of energies come up with the Knight of Wands reversed. Um, I don't usually get physical abuse from that card, but I suppose that could come up in someone younger as well. Um, the challenge being the death card. So this is death, endings, transformation, transition, dark night of the soul. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Sagittarius reversed. And then the foundation here is the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. Whether it's self-love, spiritual love, new love, keeping their eye on the prize here, or maybe working with your third eye. And then in the recent past for you is the Knight of Pentacles, the loyal, humble servant. This can be an earth sign person. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, you know, they're the workhorse. They look like they're going back in direction, but they're the loyal, humble servant. They're the one who work really hard. And then we have, you know, the opposite of that, which is the Knight of Wands energy reversed, which is the player energy of fire, whether it's fire, um, Leo, Sag or Aries, um, and it can just be someone with a lot of fire in their chart, and the same for the earth signs. It could be just someone with a lot of earth in their chart. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. And then we have crowning here, the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So perhaps it's just not time yet, or perhaps some kind of twist of fate happened right here in your present moment, or maybe you just maybe you're just having a down day. It can be as simple as that as well. That things aren't going your way, or you feel that way right now. What's coming up for you is the tower. So something sudden, some kind of sudden epiphany, an explosion, an eruption, some kind of sudden event. This can be sexual as well, especially with the Knight of Wands coming in. Okay. And that also can be Scorpio. We have two Scorpios here. Well, actually, my son just called me before I went to the post office and he had really exciting news. So again, that can be that for sure. It was really good news for him. So so Scorpio might be having some great news today. You see yourself as the page of pentacles reversed, and this could be feeling like you need help getting something started. Um, this can be a child who needs help with their homework. It could be someone who um, has trouble self-starting things. They always need someone else to help them, and that can end up being an opportunist in the end because they get used to that. Okay, it can just be not getting a project off the ground or not getting an invitation, not getting the loan that you wanted. What's around here, how others see you, is the Five of Swords upright. And that can be the, a war, triumph, you know, taking down the field, right? But this is, there's no love in this. It's about, you know, it's, the, it's war. And war starts within. So someone may feel like they've triumphed over the field, but it wasn't done with love. There's a lot of, um, you know, residual baggage here. Right, so this could be 
how you see yourself and how others see you, or this could be to someone totally separate from you, and maybe that's why you feel um, insecure there, needing help. What is the block for cancer is the moon. Okay, and that can be your subconscious, that can be romantic feelings, you know, howling at the moon, and the time's a tick in there. And we have the moon right next to the, um, the tower energy, so Scorpio and Cancer could be side by side, aligned. And then at the end, we have for Cancer, the Page of Wands, which is very inspired energy. Um, they look like there could be somebody who's Jewish here wearing a yarmulke or somebody in Florida with the orchards, orchards, someone who's playing chess or checkers or just has, um, has maybe Italian tiled floor or perhaps terracotta floor or perhaps deciding between terracotta and Italian tile as flooring here. But also this is just very inspired energy. Um, you know, it's like that young teenage boy energy. And then connecting to what's left hanging in limbo here is the Six of Cups. Some really feel-good energy between two young energies, whether there's two kids, two siblings, two friends, two soulmates. That can be a mother and child energy as well as their inner children come out together. However it is, this can be a really positive past or memories of your childhood may be very happy. This could be a past life soulmate as well. And there's a cat in the foreground here too. And this may be an animal considered here as well. So this is the connection to what's left hanging in limbo at the end of your read. And that is the five of pentacles reverse, which is recovering from perhaps some kind of financial lack or some kind of um, just feeling left out in the cold by others, feeling left out. This also can be any kind of injuries or illnesses, any kind of medical care that's been going on and recovering from that. And that can include money problems too because medical expenses are high. So you're going to get a few more cards at the end of the read. You just won't see them now, just to close up the story. And so let's see what's going on with that. Okay, definitely some stuff going on there. I think it's around you though, I don't know. Let's see what's going on. We have the bottom of the deck here with the Nine of Wands reversed. This can be surrender or giving up. We're going to give you a little backstory on what's been happening before the read, and then we're going to go forward. So it looks like you feel like your world was upside down, or someone did. We have the Queen of Pentacles upright and finding peace, but the world was upside down for the King of Swords over here. All right. So the underlying energy here before these top cards here is the world upside down, but the King of Swords is right behind that. So he may feel like his world's upside down. This could be someone who's on the other side of the world from someone. This can be Pisces reversed. This can be the divine feminine in another world, or perhaps the divine masculine in another world. But this is definitely Pisces energy, and then the King of Swords behind it. And they mat they're very much matching colors with the purples and blues. And then we have traveling to find peace, perhaps at night. They look like they're in a cold place. And then there's a big moon up there, except we have a new moon tomorrow. So this may have been when the full moon, somebody was traveling, and then the next card is the Queen of Pentacles with the peacock. So she may be very proud of her education. She may have peacock coloring, so maybe hazel eyes. Um, but again, it's very much with her about royal upbringing, but she's also very educated and she's, you know, much, she wants to show that she's done it herself by showing her green on the outside, the education. There's some kind of instability over here whether it's moving of a home or perhaps just visiting or coming home from somebody else's house, or this can be the end of a party or the party's over, or literally a marriage can be over as well here and somebody's surrendering to it. So we have Pisces reversed there. There was a King of Swords under there and the Queen of Pentacles in there as well. And we're in the sign of Cancer, you're seeing yourself as the Page of Pentacles reversed. So you could be seeing yourself as the child of this Queen of, of Pentacles here. And we have a Knight of Pentacles here too. And that could be a family there. So let's see what else is going on. So definitely we have two Knights and two Pages. So you could be dealing with children or a lot of messages. And I already told you 
you know, with this big Scorpio here, the challenge being a Scorpio or the challenge being an end to something. And here's this uh, sudden event or sudden information that comes in or a Scorpio that's excited like my son was when he called me. Uh, we also have, you know, we have fire. We have a lot of earth. This is Libra for me, Sagittarius probably. Um, again, a lot of earth and then a lot of Scorpio here and Cancer. Okay, so we have actually, we had Pisces under there too. So all of the water energies are involved in your energy along with earth signs and then fire as well. Um, we had the King of Swords in the underlying energy, but he's not playing out here. So there's not much air at all, if any. All right, we have the Five of Swords there over here. That could be the King of Swords. And let's see, fire. What else do we have? Water. Yeah, we have all three waters, but the people are more earthy and fire. I guess with water in their charts, because we have all three water signs. So, And then Libra, which could be the King of Swords. So let's see how this is going with the, and the King of Wands just flew out with the devil. So he could be a fire sign with Capricorn or Capricorn with fire in his chart. Who's coming out here? So let's see what's going on with the wounded warrior there, reverse, the surrender. Okay, that's surrender too. We have the nine and 10 of wands, right? We have the wounded warrior and the Atlas energy, both dumping all their burdens, their responsibilities, perhaps dumping a load this can be um, confession as well, right? But he was down on his knee, not giving up his wounds in the back, but now he's totally surrendered and confessed or gave himself up or gave himself in. Um, there's some kind of another, right? This may be the straw that broke the camel's back, literally. So someone might have hurt themselves physically as well. Or um, something came in that was really good that was worth dumping the old stuff to start something new. After a losing battle or ending conflict, some kind of new offer comes in. So finding peace, the Queen of Pentacles with, unst with instability, finding peace with instability. The Queen of Pentacles seems like she's found peace with instability. And that can be someone who's already raised their kids, right? They've been used to instability because there's always something that comes up when, it, when you have kids. So she's gotten used to it at this point, I suppose. And then we have the surrender here to something brand new or the straw that broke the camel's back. The Knight of Pentacles in the recent past. There's the Knight of Swords reversed. So the, the Knight of Pentacles going back He's looking forward, but then he goes back. It's like he's ready to go forward, but he has to take care of something first. And this is somebody who's been holding their tongue or been lashing out. This can be verbally abusive as well or lying. And there sits there by, right behind the Knight of Pentacles, right? This is someone who may be, um, you know, doing something behind their back, right? They're loyal and faithful. And here's someone who's stabbing them in the back when they're not looking. And this Knight of Pentacles is moving towards a higher love. Maybe this was them in the past. They're going back to finish up their old self or something with this Knight of Swords reversed to go forward again, okay, in a higher love. This is patience, being a patient angel, Sagittarius energy, okay. And again, this is Sag too. And this could be maybe the Knight of Pentacles had to go back and help the Knight of Swords and did that already. Now he's going forward to help the Sagittarius energy, the Knight of Wands reversed, who needs help. And why do we have the foundation here, the Ace of Cups? And that flipped right over. The Four of Swords. So this Ace of Cups is about loving self by taking a break, taking a rest, meditating, praying. This can be 5D connection as well. That could be a love and a twin flame relationship. This is literally the connection in 5D and the big, big love, the Holy Grail. We also have the energetic connection here, right? This is definitely twin flame energy, okay? A lot of energetic, this could be a lot of communication or travel going back and forth, the hours of love or that energetic exchange in meditation or in sleep time and hanging out. 
seeing new perspectives and loving doing that perhaps. The surrender of it, we have the surrender over here. And again, there's earth coming up here. So you could be a cancer with earth in your chart, or you could be an earth sign with cancer in your moon arising, you know, or Mars or Venus as I bring up in the beginning. But there's a lot of love here. The queen of, Pen the queen of pentacles may be surrendering a home or giving up a home or a visit perhaps with the Page of Pentacles reversed. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed for Cancer? This is looking back, going back, or living in the past, right? Regarding the Queen of Swords, who's speaking or speaking her truth. She could be speaking about the past here regarding the Knight of Wands. She's speaking about the never-ending story, the near-death experience, the death that has happened already in the past, after death. This can be, you know, clinging as well to not wanting the cycle to end. This can also be Scorpio reversed, who is now majorly upright, right? Talking about how there may have been a Scorpio who was struggling for a while to get somewhere, whether it's a love life, a work life, whatever it is for you. And now all of a sudden, boom, something comes in. So some really good news. But so the Queen of Swords may be talking about that, about going on a journey with the Page of Cups, with a Scorpio child, just like I was talking about. So there's something like that that could be happening with you, but there's definitely a lot of Scorpio energy coming up here. And then um, I'm not going to put these out, but the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Cups Right? This is like this is like overwhelming joy, like so excited, like overexcited between a mother and a child, page of cups and a queen of cups. This also could be someone dumped or dumping on each other or crying. This could be crying tears of joy, or it could be purging or pushed to the emotional limit. But it's coming up as something positive because they're both in a positive place and they definitely look like mother child energy. She's focusing on her heart and cups. And he's focusing on just being love, it looks like over here. And there's a lot, there's like a, that exchange of, this is like the Mary Magdalene energy and the Jesus energy of the, the uh, Holy Grail and then the Holy Communion here coming together on the way down, right? Pushing the energy down of the Holy Grail so that the, um, the Holy Communion has time to meet with them there. Meeting in Holy Communion. So anyway, there's really positive energy there. And that's all about the central energy. The challenge is the death card, which was reversed over here and completing the end of a cycle, which is major. And going on a trip. This is majorly going forward, whether moving, traveling, ascending quickly to emotional fulfillment or to a happy family. So that's too for me too. We're going to definitely going to be going on a trip together. So there we go again and then there's cancer energy here too. It could just be cancer very happy and emotionally fulfilled with family. Okay? And then somebody else may be unhappy about this or this can be a little bit of arrogance coming up around it or this it also can be someone who's, you know, celebrating a little bit too much, right? Partying or this also can be someone losing their singlehood. This is someone very happy being single. And this could be someone looking forward to losing their singlehood, perhaps because of this new situation. So why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed at the present moment for cancer? The King of Swords is up again. Now, he was upright over here on, in the underlying energy, and he's coming up with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and that definitely can be Libra energy with the Empress reversed at home. So this looks like either a couple or a mother and son living at home with a celebration, but obviously she's not doing well. She's either in lack mentality or perhaps she's gone. This could be remembering a mother. Um, this also can be just his lack of abundance 
or a mother who needs health care, or she could be um, also someone, you know, the two extremes. She's either in lack and very needy, or the boss and mean, you know, when she's reversed, she's, or she's just an empress having a bad day there at home with the uh, King of Swords. Or there's a celebration coming up and the Empress isn't happy about it and the King of Swords may be more neutral about it. But uh, it's not the right time. Maybe it's not the right time to talk about something or a house, right? Because the Four of Wands is reversed over here. There is love here, but is this a player? Sagittarius and Libra energy coming up here. Why is the uh, tower there coming up for Cancer? The tower is coming up with the Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Hermit with the light. And this usually is someone overworking or that things aren't, aren't working or aren't working out. Because if you're just not working, it's not going to come up as this card, right? Because you're going to be do some, doing something else. So it's not normally represented by this card unless you just left a job or something like that. But it's either overworking or just things aren't working out, no matter how hard you work. And then this is the hermit shedding light on it, whether this is a, an advisor, this could be your grandfather giving you advice, this could be a hermit, someone who's been just hermiting a lot, or someone who's really wise that you know, or it could be a Virgo person as well. Okay. So there's some, some kind of sudden, um, sudden assistance, someone's holding the light, while you, you've been overworking on something, maybe you're, just as an example, you're working on a table that you can't fix and you're very frustrated because you've been working on it too long and then someone all of a sudden comes along to help out and, and holds the light for you so you can actually get this done. That's the kind of energy that suddenly comes up here. It's very positive. Helping them to come clean, get clean or clean up their act, clean up the space, right? If you're cleaning up the place but you need help, that could definitely be coming up here. Why do you have the Page of Pentacles reversed? All right, this has caused some kind of pain. Someone might have hurt their back here and here. It's definitely someone who could have hurt themselves at work and going to the doctor, suddenly needing to be seen at the doctor because you hurt your back or some kind of pain that you're having. This is also ending pain or a painful ending or a pain in the ass. You could be seen as a pain in the ass by the Ten of Pentacles, Reverse Family. Notice there's double tens here. We had tens over here too. You're, this is a major ending of a cycle with the death card coming up. There could be sudden death as well, whether that's an actual death or a playoff of some kind. <sighs> you, the family here, maybe losing money or lost a family mom member, maybe seeing the Page of Pentacles reversed as a pain in the butt. Maybe you don't feel like you fit in here. You could be ending things with a family cycle here, whether it's financially or a loss. There could be debt here. This is an unfair relationship. It's not equal. There's no equity here. Maybe there's problems, but there's no equity in a home. You can't sell it even if you wanted it to or wanted to. And this can be debt. This can be a scam of some sort. Maybe the family scammed you or you scammed the family. Again, I told you this can become an opportunist if they're so used to other people doing things for them, they end up manipulating people to do that, you know, as they get older. So there could be some of that energy coming up and someone doesn't, isn't going to put up with it anymore. Or maybe you, if you were the one who did that, you feel like you've triumphed and took down the field. There's definitely a plan being implemented and a loss of money here with three cards in a row and somebody's suffering about it or they're up nights not sleeping or have headaches or they're purging or just suffering in silence about it. And there's the war card coming up again right here. Facing their worst fears. And I'm not going to put these down, but I just want to show you 
face this is someone facing their worst fears over here their worst nightmare okay of losing all of this losing family losing um, sharing or work losing what you've saved and facing your worst nightmare and then you have judgment reversed the, eight, the knight of wands reversed again and then the issues at work here the workplace with no job but this is not heeding the call this is deliberating too long this could be someone holding back their true passions and then falling short because they waited too long, right? Waited too long to get a job or, or to, to heed the call at work. Maybe they, someone got fired here, but it's like feeling like it's their worst nightmare or just someone fearing that because they don't have work right now and maybe they're worried about losing money. Why is the Five of Swords there for Cancer? Why is Five of Swords around Cancer here? The Eight of Cups, walking away. This is a lot of emotions here that you put into something and you're walking away from it or just taking a break at the new moon, perhaps. Taking a break from taking care of others. This You could would deal with patients or just people who, you know, it could be social work, whatever it is. Someone's tired of taking care of others and they're walking away to take care of themselves. And this could be someone who had to get tough love because people weren't listening to them or they were using them, right? So whether this whoever's cancer here, someone was feeling used and now is taken down the field because they're walking away. They're not putting up with it anymore. They're walking away. They're going to love themselves first now. It's kind of like that energy. We have the, the block here for cancer is the moon, which is cancer energy. And we have the King of Pentacles reversed here, along with Justice Upright. So this could be a father and child energy here, and there's some kind of justice there between them. Perhaps at night, or some kind of subconscious energies between them that needed to be worked out. This also could just be a Libra, King of Pentacles reversed here. Or this could be that King of Swords, Libra. Dealing with the King of Pentacles reversed, who's dealing, you know, there's a father and child energy. We have all four of the Pentacles here. We have the King of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles upright, and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's a father and child who are reversed, and then the mother and child who are both upright. So there could be a divorce here. This also could be four kids who are siblings um, settling something out, and two see one way and then two see the other way. But there may have been a court involvement here something legal and somebody feels like they've triumphed and that could be cancer and you could this page of pentacles could just be a child in your energy it doesn't have to be you at all you just see yourself this way as your child because you feel everything they go through so So there may be still some subconscious blocks regarding the wealth of a man, right? Because there's the king of pentacles reversed. So upright, right? He's a guy who can take care of everybody because he's got plenty of money. And when he's reversed, he could be all about money, but not about anybody else. Or he's losing money. And you may have subconscious um, issues with, with um, manifesting, you know, work money. Because there's definitely a, a something here where someone's not, uh, where their workplace isn't bringing in enough income. It's not working out. And there may be emotional blocks, maybe the reason why. Maybe you have a fear if you succeed that others are going to want to take you down. The Page of Wands up here at the end is the Queen of Wands. With the Knight of Cups reversed, she may be jealous here. And here's another mother and child energy. We have the Queen of Wands. And the page of wands here and then the knight of cups you may be jealous and that could be a relationship between mother and child where the sibling or the partner even is jealous because she has a close bond with her son i know when i've i've been divorced from my kid's dad since geez 24 years now but definitely he was jealous of my children when i was taking care of them when they were young you know when you're a new mom your children take up all your time and then the the father partner who may not be as, inv as involved can get jealous of that relationship. But this also can be another child. 
And then we have the sovereign here energy with the devil energy and then the king of wands here. All right. So here we have a pentacles family and then here's a wands family. And this wands family, there definitely could be codependencies and addictions here or that's this energy right here could be a Capricorn. Okay. Or this could be, this person could be one person. This could be one person and there's a, the sovereigns in between them. Okay. So definitely jealousy, codependencies and addictions. And then someone who's single or independent in between them all here. So this is all coming up around the page of wands. Child. You know, the star, this could be the star child here. The page of wands could be that sovereign. The six of cups, which is, you know, ch loving children, loving memories of the childhood. This is starting over in love with the king of cups reversed. And this is somebody emotionally unavailable or emotionally detached or over emotional and perhaps alcoholic here as well. And here's coming up a father energy of the two uh, loving children there. And again, there's that energy of the jealous father of the children who drinks. And this was destined. And then there could be a Libra child here as well, but destined to step up to the plate to get the message across, to spread the word that this had to happen. All right, so now we have, I'm getting like, you know, the movie Love Actually or Valentine's Day where they have all these different um, parts going on, different lives. Because you have a Pentacles family here, you have a Wands family here, and you have a Cups family here now, all intertwined. And there were Swords, not as much in here, but the Queen of Swords is here, and the King of Swords is underlying there, but not in the main deck. The main deck is more about the uh, Wands and the Pentacles energy, but I told you the Major Arcana are all the Cups signs. So there's definitely at least three families here involved, very much wrapped up with each other. And this, after the page of swords there, spreading the word, we have the surrender of the wounded warrior who's in the underlying energy over here. And there's the two of wands, you know, get, giving, offering them a new path. They've dumped all these wands and here's two more. They have one, they're willing to offer their, others, their other wand to them. So this could be someone offering a partnership here Perhaps they need money to get it going. Maybe they think they'll be able to help them out with the finances. Ding. <laughs> it's confirmation. Okay. So this one doesn't have the money, but maybe they have the work ethic and they have the know-how to come together here. So just give me a little story here in a partnership for sure. So there's two fire type energies perhaps coming together here regarding this, this six of cups here who are, who are soulmates. And then we have, you know, there needs to be recovery first here because there may have been an issue between them in the past. And this can be between the page of pentacles and the page of wands. And it could be between their families, you know, like Romeo and Juliet, where the king of cups has the child over here. And then the pentacles family over here doesn't like the cups family because they don't have as much money. And then we have here the five of pentacles recovering from exile and being free. The page of pentacles, which is you or the child who's in your energy here, suddenly free. A lot of affection here. Again, it's really coming up as child affection, you know, being so happy. Like for me, if, if it was my situation, I'm so happy that my son is finally, you know, free to do, you know, to get some work. He just got a job and it's going to be really fun. It's a temporary job. It's a really fun one for the summer. So it's like him freeing himself from this stuck situation of no work. And it's a big, it's, there's a lot of affection that will be involved with the work he's going to do and kids as well. So it's really, a, really a positive energy there. So what's coming up there after Kant's, after the uh, five of pentacles reversed and the practical recovery, perhaps of 
children and dealing with their parents. You know, it could be the energy between my son and me and then his father because we haven't been together for 24 years. And of course, he's taking care of his dad right now who had, a, had two strokes this past year. So there's definitely those kind of issues. And then we have the King of Pentacles reversed again, recovering, but perhaps has financial issues or is all about the money. And then we have the, again, the Knight of Cups reversed, which is jealousy, moodiness. This can be the schmoozer too, right? The opportunist over here. Someone who kisses up to people to get their own way, but they really don't love themselves, right? So how can they love somebody else? This also, like I said, is jealousy and moodiness or feeling rejected. Okay, so here's the, the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles is right here. So these two are related too, because here they are right here. And maybe they're both in recovery together. That could be two people recovering from some kind of codependency or addiction together. And then the star, which is depression or arrogance, the need to heal, the need to shine their light, right? The need to dream. And literally, like this could be my, my son and his father healing together. And then we have the king of wands reversed which then that fire sign comes in and we have the Knight of Wands reversed over here. Okay, and we have the Page of Wands upright. So there's another fire family, Pentacles family, Cups family. <sighs> and the King of Wands reversed, you know, he can just be exhausted. He can be depressed and exhausted. Or he could be arrogant and out of control, pissed off. This can be someone who's sick as well. And then we have the King of Cups reversed. Yikes. Three kings reversed in a row and the knight of cups reversed and, and Aquarius energy right there. And then we have the four of cups reversed, which is starting over in love, like no longer going to finish the cycle. We're not going to go from four to five. We're going to just trash it, scratch it and start over again. And I was getting that in the twin flame read too. There's something to just kill it, like shelve it. And then we have feeling imprisoned so, or someone's going to prison. All right, this is about anxieties and fears, imprisoning yourself or actual prison, and then implementing a plan or a new strategy of how to get out of that way of thinking with an announcement, a final judgment, or a wake-up call big time. This can be patching music in as well. So why is the King of Pentacles reversed with the Knight of Cups reversed? With depression or arrogance and the King of Wands reversed and the King of Cups reversed? Choosing a new path. Again, holding back money, time, money, and effort. Or perhaps they don't have money because it looked like before they were offering partnership to someone who may have money or holding back money from them because they don't handle their money well. But they have the know-how and the effort to put in. Again, to come together in partnership in order to heal and forgive and get over it. There's definitely emotional ties here coming together. So this may just be showing, again, like I said, like a father-son relationship or any two people here with the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, spending time healing together, helping each other choose a new path. You know, refusing to spend money on someone or restricting them from buying things that aren't good for them if they're healing from something and helping each other out that way to get back up on their feet. And then why is the Knight of Cups there reversed? The Knight of Wands reversed, same kind of energy. This is because, you know, this could just be kids feeling stuck too, like they can't get out and about. They're stuck with their dad taking care of them, you know, whatever it is for you no job or having issues at work, you know, feeling stuck and stale, like, like they'll never win, right? Because he's winning when he's upright. Here he's feels like, feeling like a loser with no job or maybe the job he, he has he hates, right? Or maybe he got fired. Maybe some, a project got shelved so they got laid off. And then we have the depression or arrogance of the king of wands reversed who may be avoiding sudden changes 
or in the aftermath of a disaster or sudden events. Maybe he doesn't want to clean up the mess with the Queen of Pentacles reversed and the Magician with all their tools on board manifesting big time here. We got Scorpio and perhaps Virgo here. Okay, and then the fire sign there. There could be some jealousy here too between a fire sign and someone who's, you know, the Scorpio energy who's got good news. They could be jealous of that. Or he's just exhausted. Why is the, queen, the King of Cups reversed next to the King of Wands reversed? They're keeping to themselves, pretending they don't know, or just trying to keep their energy clear. I don't think they're trying to keep their energy clear because they're both in a negative aspect here. I think they're pretending they don't know, so they don't have to deal with it. They're going to leave it all up to this person, right? The aide, the nurse, the advisor, the quiet one who will keep your secrets, the religious woman, the high priestess, the Pisces, Virgo, or Aquarius energy, right? Whoever helps others. And these two are just sitting next to each other saying nothing. It's like see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil type of energy here between these guys. They could be in an old folks home too with an aide. This also could be a, you know, brothers or father and son or friends helping each other go in to get their follow up, getting taken care of or like I said, an aide or a nurse coming to the house to start over here. Maybe they're getting uh, cleared now of their, of their issues and being released from the prison, <laughs> being released from anxieties, fear, prison, feeling like their hands were tied and now re released from that. But there's still, um, there's no final call yet. So it's like they feel released now, but they haven't gotten the final judgment yet, the final decision, the wake up call that says they, this says that I'm released. This says they haven't said you're released yet. Like this is you being dependent on yourself right? Sovereign. And this is saying, but they haven't given me formal release yet. So you're literally giving them the power over here. And then we have, again, the prison. So you're still in prison because they haven't said you're released yet. You know you feel better, but they haven't released you yet. So you're still allowing yourself to be in prison, dumping emotional attachments that no longer serve or no longer confused and in surrender. Get, or is this literally could be someone giving themselves up, coming together again, implementing a plan, a strategy here to connect, to come together and connect, to heal and forgive, perhaps a divorce situation or a break away from, maybe someone left AMA and broke away from the institution, <laughs> whether it's a hospital, a literal institution, a rehab, somebody could have broken out or they just got released now. And they're like good riddance, you know. This can be the end of a marriage. This can be end of, you know, a job, an establishment, a religion, a way of doing things. This can be thinking outside the box. It's like coming together to do something new in a new way, not the traditional way. And definitely have Aquarius, Taurus reversed here. But all I can tell you is all the kings, all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. We got three king of cups, king of wands, king of pentacles, and the knight of cups. So this could be a father and child here as well. Yeah, they're all kind of miserable there. They're all depressed. And that could be family depression as well. Or at a job, maybe a job closed, so all these people are depressed because they, they had to lose their job. So there's definitely at the end here, starting over, this is getting over some kind of grief or loss, regret, the past, but still stuck in the head because they said you weren't released yet. You said you're released, but they don't say you're released yet. It's really funny how that's coming up. And there's deception here, or getting up before dawn. The new moon is tomorrow. A new dawn here, right? Coming full circle with the world, completing a major cycle. The challenge was the death and the end of something, and here it is, because it's upright. Here's the world. This is also someone who marches to the beat of her own drum, 
who's completely authentic and naked to the world at the new moon. Or again, this is cancer, someone with cancer in their chart who could be a divine feminine or a Pisces energy here. And there's the emperor reversed who needs help or he's out of control. Maybe he retired, right? He completed a cycle. He's now retired. So we, now we have the hierophant reversed and the emperor reversed here. And maybe going to spend time with a soulmate or children or grandchildren. Very inspired. Maybe the kids are inspired about that defenseless to the energies or no, no excuses. Okay. Needing the strength and the courage to deal with this energy here of being attacked, the page of wands, but by their dreams or perhaps by their dream girl, their dream life, their dreams in general, and being willing to let go and spend a little or let go of holding on to things too tight to fix things with somebody. There's definitely a very loving energy coming up here. Someone inspired to be with a soulmate or their children or grandchildren. And so what do we have for the romance angels? So again, for you, Cancer, you had, you had earth and fire and the major arcana were Libra reverse, Scorpio upright times two, a lot of Scorpio, um, Aquarius upright, and then, yeah, a two Aquari one Aquarius is upright, one is, oh, I'm sorry, not Aquarius, but Cancer upright, Aquarius reversed, and then Aquarius upright over here. So yeah, a lot of Aquarius and Scorpio, and then Cancer, and Libra reversed. This is for Cancer, sign of Cancer. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So just follow your guidance, right? Love yourself first. And there's a reconciliation here to get to know each other better here. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And definitely finances and career are involved here, which definitely came up in the read. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And the bottom of the deck is you deserve love. You are lovable for yourself which came up at the end of the read. So it's time to take control back of your life because you deserve love and don't forget that. So let's pull a card from the animal spirit deck and then we'll be set. I still have to roll the die for you. Did I roll it? I rolled, no, I didn't write, roll it for you. So here's the dice for cancer here. We have number nine. We have, what did I say that was? This is Venus, okay. So we have Venus, and we have Sagittarius here, and we have the number nine. And nine is all about selflessness and compassion and endings. We definitely have an ending here because there's a big cycle that's completed with Sagittarius and Venus. Very significant here. All right, let's see what's going on with the animal spirit deck for the sign of cancer. <sighs> the frog, the frog that becomes the prince. And he looks like he's being rained on. And then we have the dragon, which is very intense. And then the snake coming full circle. So let's see what else, let's see what they say. The bottom of the deck, just in case you were wondering, is the panther over here. Okay, the black panther and the black um, uh, leopard came up for me today. So the leopard's more significant than the panther even. They just don't have that card in this deck. So it's coming up because the black uh, cat. So the black leopard or panther coming up for you guys in the underlying energies. And then the frog is the first, along with the dragon and the snake, which you know or notice are all reptilian. So let's see what's going on. And the next three cards after those three reptiles are the cheetah, again, like a leopard with spots. They're saying it is the leopard. The butterfly that looks like a bee with wings, because Muhammad Ali was coming up all day today. And then the zebra also coming up here, who never changes their stripes, right? So let's see what the frog says. 
And of course, frog is the water. Frog is clearing, cleansing, and healing. Definitely healing going on. Clearing and cleansing and healing. The frog and the water element are almost inseparable. The frog spends its first months of life entirely within its healing element and then emerges to rest on land. But no matter how earthly the frog becomes, its need for cleansing and rejuvenation is regular. And actually this came up in the header of one of my twin, flames read, twin flame reads, whether it was yesterday or the day before, where the water meets the land. So the frogs tend to become overworked and undernourished. It is vital that such sensitive creatures practice self-care. This card serves as a reminder that water helps us cleanse, forgive, and release. Time to dive in. Frogs aren't meant to carry that heavy load, which was definitely coming up in the beginning of your read. So when they're in balance, they're clear energy with enthusiasm for life. When they're out of balance, they're depleted and running on empty. To bring themselves back into balance for a frog, they need a lake, a river, an ocean, or a bathhouse. Water, water, water for the frog. Okay, and we had three reptilians here, but I had to read you the dragon too because that's one of the spirit cards, which is significant. All right, so for the dragon. The dragon seeing one's most true self and balancing the ego. And this is the third chakra. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon, breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back for a ride. And as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see the beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see the beauty in the world, their ajni is dim. And it is described as the inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. So the third chakra, the subtle energy of the dragon, lives at the navel center in the Manipura chakra. The Manipura uh, translates to the city of hidden gems, and behind its gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestive systems, right? The sages believe the health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly see both inner and outer dimensions. So if you're, if you're having tummy problems, it's saying water, water, water. You need water. Frog, dragon, and snake. And the snake's coming full circle for sure. It's like the frog becoming the dragon and showing you that by the snake coming full circle and then bringing the rainbow within from the rainbow bridge that f makes a full circle and then it comes into its center, back into the center again. It's like as soon as the door closes, then all of a sudden the energy comes within. And the Black Panther, just a quick energy about the Black Panther here. Since the, black, since the black leopard came up today, it was important. So the panther is about annihilation of the unnecessary and purging. So the panther won't stand for um, your growth to be stagnant. So it'll pounce into our life and cause all sorts of havoc with the ultimate intention of bringing us toward more fulfilling lives. It's unexpected, uncomfortable, and sometimes feels devastating. But after all the dust clears, it's easy to see the panther's wisdom at work. We've all been through these experiences and they've made us better people. Trust the panther's journey always leads to a brighter place. When they're in balance, they're brave and productive. When out of balance, they're, they're self-destructive. To come back into balance, get rid of the unnecessary. Okay? So that is for um, cancer today. So make sure you drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, and get your nature. And as always, be good to yourselves and rise and be love. I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.